Crips here and thank you for joining me today. So what I'm doing today is I'm basically trying to solve a problem for a viewer who expressed that he was frustrated that he couldn't find a way to get a, a, an effect or a transition effect from the main track to his overlay track. So let's help him out. Let's bring a clip into let's bring a clip into our main track. So here's my main clip and then I'm going to bring another clip into my overlay track so what he's after is he wants to go from this clip and then have a nice transition effect to this clip all right now also you may notice that uh, my clip is ready fit to screen and you can do the same just go to settings preference edits and highlight this or tick this box use fit to screen by default because let's be honest every time you put a clip in the overlay you're going to make it fit the screen anyway so you're just going to save a few extra clicks there right all right, let's get moving. So how do we get the crossfade from this clip to the overlay track? Well, this is done very, very easy. Highlight your overlay track. Make sure it's at the start of the segment. Now go back into your main track. Just click anywhere and do a cut. Okay. Move your timeline along on your main track. Highlight your main clip again and do another cut. Now you've created a little segment piece here. Right click and copy that and then bring that one onto your overlay track. Voila. All you need to do now is bring this onto your overlay track and automatically will add a, uh, a filter, uh, sorry, a transition effect. Now you can, you can have it anything you want. I think it comes standard with random. This will be random. I have the crossfade effect. So anytime I apply any form of effect like this, it will automatically choose the one that I wanted. And again, you can you know, pick any one you want. So now, if I play my video, it should have a nice crossfade from this clip onto my overlay track. Voila, it is that simple. As you can see, it was done really, really quick and very, very smoothly. Otherwise, you would have had to make a cut here, bring this into the main track, make another cut here, bring the main track back into it. It's just, you know, too much headache, and this is done so quick. You can do the same thing going back from the overlay track onto the main track by doing everything in reverse. So let's say you want to go from this segment back into your main track. All right, let's highlight the overlay track, make your cut, and the piece you don't want, you just delete. Okay. Now, go back into your main track, make another cut, bring it back. Rather than bringing it forward, highlight your clip again, make another cut, and you guessed it, what we're going to do here is make a copy, bring it down. So there's my copy, slide it to the end of my segment, and now I'll have a nice crossfade going from this track back to my main clip. So let's have a look. There you go. So that's pretty good. Now just bear in mind that the audio will also jump from one to the other. So you may wish to split the audio, bring it on the audio track, or... You know, it's up to you how you want to play with the audio. Maybe you just want this audio through the whole piece and not this one. Again, it's your preferences. But my job here today was to show you how to get the uh, uh, transition effect from this track to this track. Now, I'm going to be honest. Uh, this is not my original idea. The original idea came from a guy called Bob Kovacs. I was watching one of his videos and I found it very, very informative. And when the question came up, I thought uh, this is exactly what the gentleman looks, so I thought I'd do a really quick uh, video for him. But if you want to see the original, please go visit uh, Bob Kovacs' channel, and you can also see a much better version uh, on how the transitions work. So I don't want to take credit for something I didn't invent, <laughs> but I just thought it'd help people out. Aren't I nice? <laughs> and as always, thanks for joining.